Hello there, and welcome back to VTOL Mods. Last time we witnessed a wild USS Theodore Roosevelt in its natural habitat. Enjoyed the physics bending F-22. Endured the... <sighs> Why? Gravity is a figment of your imagination. Why bring petite missiles and bombs when you can have Matthew Broderick order a thermonuclear bomb upon request? But we missed some things. Like, what was yeah. actually done with NASA's budget? Where all the work that should have gotten into the new Star Wars movies went. And French missiles that acted very... French. So get your seatbelts buckled, boys. We're going for a ride! Okay. We begin with this. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, we're going now. Gentlemen, this is NASA's greatest invention. Off the ramp! <laughs> <laughs> it didn't always work. Okay, it never worked. It's safe to say that both the VTOL and the attack helicopter weren't designed for this kind of innovation. With the F-45, however, you could get all the way up there. So far, in fact, that you could even tell that the Earth is flat. Next was... But instead of being whatever this is, this mod was actually the coolest one I tested. We fought alongside the extras like Gold Leader, and just like in the movies, we all perished. Felt the scream of the Empire. Oh, their sound is sick. Infiltrated the belly of the beast. Look at how big it is. And witnessed its destruction. Critical acclaim. Then I happened upon this. There's only one thing you need to know about this particular vehicle. The next mod I tried is probably the most well-known, and for good reason. <laughs> yeah, boy. The missile knows where it is at all times. It knows this because it knows where it isn't. Are you sure about that? Uh oh. Oh no. Um. <laughs> what? What? And finally, a ramp. It's, it's just a ramp. A little fun going up, oh boy. and a lot of fun coming down. We then arrive at the not-so-fun part of modding games. In order to experience the last few minutes of mods, there was a lot of... suffering. In the last video, multiplayer didn't really work at all. This time, however, it worked. Sort of. We accomplished this with a mod that basically allowed us to play together even if we had different mods loaded in the main menu, which didn't used to be possible. It was smooth sailing for 20 minutes. <laughs> Everything's fine, right? Crashes happen all the time. <laughs> nope. The lobby refused not to drink and drive. And that was the end of mods in multiplayer. The mod I tried to get working next was Star Wars. This mod in particular requires another mod called CSA. It's actually really cool. In layman's terms, it allows custom units to be added into missions. There's one problem though. At the moment, the only way to use any of the custom units people have made is making your own mission and uploading it to the Steam Workshop, which requires you to know how to make mission. That's English. Which requires you know how to make a mission. This also means that in order to play with any custom units, you have to have at least two different mods working with each other. Well, I'm smart. And initially decided to try and plug in units from four different mods on top of the CSA mod. As you would imagine, this was a terrible decision. It didn't work. After going back and forth in the modding channel, located in the main VTOL VR Discord, I was recommended to only load one mod at a time when I opened up the game. It worked. And this is how I made the mission with the Star Wars units. Unfortunately, the success stopped there. Between the game freezing when I try and launch the mission, nothing showing up in the mission when it does launch properly, accidentally loading the wrong mods or quitting the game because the way you select buttons in the menu is so jumpy, units killing each other in the mission editor when I spawn them, my master arm doing nothing, what the heck's going on here? I couldn't get any of the other custom assets working. Now, with all that being said, I have friends that have played with mods in multiplayer with zero problems. I don't know if it's just my machine or what. Anyway, if you're looking to find out how to actually use these mods and install them and all that. I talked about that in the first video. We fought alongside the extras like Gold Leaguer. Gold Leaguer, huh? I've been playing too much Raga League. 